Hi guys, on last week's Big Build episode, we showcased the route and the new Perrin Sand session. On that video, I mentioned that the route would be made available on the download station this week, and I can confirm it's now available. However, whilst uploading the route, um, Train sent me a report of missing dependencies. Now, dependencies are things which the route relies on. These are assets the route relies on. And here on the screen right now, is the list of assets. Now, some of them are, what I, I said would happen, are actually pay um, assets and some of you won't have asset, um, access to them, uh, such as these. These are actually drivers. So we can change those, they're easy enough. But others are more difficult to actually change. Um, it's, a, it's a bigger problem actually. Now let me explain what the uh, what these mean, these figures mean. Each item has its own item number, so each asset has its own number. Now this is the number here for this particular one, and you'll notice in this one is Q U I D. Now that's basically what it means is that's the original item. No changes have ever been made to it. It's just been uploaded once. Now if you see Q U I D two it means there is a revision on there. And the number here is three, it means there's three revisions. So you've had the original and then three versions of it after have been added on. Problem is, on a lot of these, they haven't. The worst of it is this one. Now as you can see, this is version nine, well, nine revisions. So I did a search for this number here without anything else. And there it is, wait for trigger. Now we use that the turntable in the bit in the main city. So the train leaves the turntable, goes past a marker, and then another train sees it because it's waiting for that trigger. And then it turns the uh, turntable back around again. Now, if we have a look down here, it says the last number is number five. So it's had five revisions. However, somehow, We've got nine revisions. So where's six, seven, eight, nine gone? Now I checked, every time you get a revision, the old version of the asset stays on your computer, stays on, but it says obsolete, and the game doesn't use it anymore. Now I do have version eight and seven on there. So somehow I've downloaded these. I don't know where from. It was downloaded from Download Station but it quite clearly says the latest one was the fifth revision, and that was in the 17th of January, 2015. I can't find any other version of this, which somebody else might have made, which is, uh, and to be honest, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make any difference either way, because this is the number. And this is not the only asset which has done that. Um, Pretty much, if this says it's got one revision, it's not actually been revised at all. If this says revision two, it's been revision one. So something's happened on my game somewhere, which is, it has caused this. So I thought, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'll make a backup of the route, I'll export it onto the computer somewhere. Then I'll go to the config file. Now the, each, your route has a config file and says, which says what assets to download. And that's where these numbers have come from. So I revised them all to the correct numbers. So I, I did a search on here, for instance, this one says five. So on the route now, I've made it so it's got a five at the end. Simple enough. I then save that as a, a revision. And uh, to test it, I can't test that on the, the, my main install for trains. So I created a brand new install Let's have a look. Here we go. So my main install is called New Build. And you can see our, the last change on that was at uh, 16th to the 10th uh, at midnight. And uh, then I created this one. I don't know if it says 12.15, but <laughs> okay. It was a bit later than that. Um, now this one has all my DLCs. The original has all my DLCs, everything which could affect this. Because possibly some of these might have been affected by the DLCs, perhaps. 
on this version, which I just downloaded. So I downloaded Trains, I did not download any DLCs. I just downloaded the, uh, the game. I then added this route. I added the route back into it and let all the assets download on there. I hope that that would actually cure the problem and well, we've loaded it, it's here, but a lot of stuff missing. Starters, there should be a train in here. There's not. This train has no carriages. Um, assets missing all the way down here. Now, it doesn't sound too bad, does it? Because there's a lot of other stuff. We can see some train and uh, some paint is not here. Not the biggest things in the world. More missing here. But it gets worse as we go through. Thank goodness the, uh, the bridge is here. These buildings are gone again. The paint is gone. Moving out a bit. The buildings have now gone. Buildings have gone here. We're still here. We've got track up to this point and then it just stops. Now this is the Penn Sands route. This is the beginning from the city. And you can see it's not loaded particularly well. So we move along. You probably recognize bits of this, but we've got hedges missing. Hedge missing there. You can see the, the painted black, so I think there's some stuff missing there. More hedges missing. I, I think you get where I'm going with this. Basically, there's a lot of stuff missing. The train's there. Okay, are more stuff here missing. Move up to uh, where the viaduct was. Well, the track's there at least, but no viaduct. This is an interesting one. I used two of these to get down to the waterfall down here. Only one's loaded. Very weird, that one. Uh, just to check, by the way, I've actually loaded this room twice, not just once, to see if it's did the same thing. Um, here, well, all the buildings down here are gone. I think the buildings up to around here. Uh, the hedges have gone. All the fences, all the all the detailing around here is gone. The siding's gone, which is why we got that there by itself. Well, we got the wall from here, but the bridge is gone. Oh, and the road's gone. Uh, we're going to see some pop some pop in because I haven't actually. Uh, it's not set up properly yet, which is why it's happened, which is why it's popping and not coming in properly. Um, yeah, more trains gone, more paints gone. The little village is still here, bits, bits missing. I'm sure that there's more hedging and stuff gone here. Um, oh yes, the big ship which is out here is all gone. A lot of these are still here, which is good. The little train which we haven't really focused on yet. It's still here. But the fencing, the hedge, all that sort of stuff's gone. Yeah, frustrating. So, you can download it right now, but you'll probably have this experience or worse. You won't be able to run it. So I, I wouldn't bother right now. Um, my plan is to first of all fix the track. So I'll go back into the uh, other the main, um, my main sort of setup there, my, my main saves. And uh, we, it's very simple to do that actually. Uh, where is it? Train settings. You just, you just choose your folder here and it'll just load, it'll load everything back. So I haven't lost anything. So I have to go back to that, change the track, and then we we'll try and get it to the tracks complete again. I might go for a few assets, see if we can actually get those to load back in again. And then we'll export it, bring it back to here and we'll do it again. And I'll keep doing it. It's gonna take a week or two to get this working there, guys. Um, yes. I knew it wasn't gonna work perfectly first time, but I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. 
When we do get it across, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this build without any DLCs or anything loaded into it to actually uh, carry on with the build, with the, uh, with the route. That way we can't have any uh, DLC stuff added by accident and uh, whatever issues the other uh, the other save's got, the other builder's got, then hopefully we rectified then. But yeah, it's going to take a little while to get back. Um, I'll get the trap working first and then I'll get that uh, up onto the download station. Um, then I'll play with the session. I'll make sure that's all working. Now, I'm assuming the turntable won't be because the the wait for trigger, for instance, that's one of them, isn't there. So I'm betting there's quite a few others which aren't going to be working as well. So route first, just get it working. Now get the session working, and then we'll start thinking about getting the assets back. This is going to put us back a few weeks. Honestly, this is going to put us back a few weeks to get make sure this is perfectly done again. Just look how many houses are missing here, like in the city. I know they're popping in, it's just because I haven't got the settings right yet on here. When you change the folder, you don't just change what loads in, it's everything. All your settings, you have to re-log into the, uh, your account, or trains, and uh, it's everything. So, I'm not too worried about that, that's nothing. But, I keep thinking it's gonna crash. It crashed on me last night. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you guys an update. Um, it's not a particularly professional video, but I just wanted to show you what's happening. Oh, great, it's, it's loading in now. Oh, well, here we go, it's loaded back in. So yes, uh, track, trains, session, in that sort of order. So I'll give you another update video once we've actually uh, done it. I'm gonna probably have a go at the weekend. I'm a bit busy until then. Um, if I can do anything before then I will. And as soon as I've got something done, I'll upload it to the download station and then I'll uh, give you an update here. All right guys, that's it. Cheers guys, see you next time. Bye bye.